I'm going to just start off for about 40 minutes talking about um, Sammy Nestico. But first, uh, you really can't talk about Sammy Nestico. In fact, you can't really talk about big bands without talking about Basie, Count Basie, uh, pianist and band leader. And um, you really can't talk about Basie without talking about the roots, basically the roots of 4-4 uh, four, four swing music and the roots of uh, riff jazz and the roots of uh, the sort of big band sound because all this came out of <clears throat> an amalgam of, of uh, dance music and live bands and different uh, regional, regional uh, things that were going around in different regions, thus the name regional. So the region of Kansas City was where the bassy sound came out of. And it makes total sense because if you look at the style of arranging that Sammy Nestico uses and he's out of the bassy style, he invents sort of invent, I sort of codified the bassy style. If you look at the, those styles, you'll see that it's based on not only riff, a lot of riffs, and a riff would be just a line, do 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 or it's also based on a sort of blocky treatment of the riff where you have instruments playing that riff in harmony. And the the early swing music features those that harmony is derived from pretty much parallel movement within the chord. And that's what uh, Benny Moten and Basie in the 30s and 40s gave us is that in Fletcher Henderson, we talked about all that in Jim, Jimmy Lunceford, that's for a different uh, class. But if you just approach uh, Kansas City music with, with listening to how the lines are thickened, and Ray Wright calls them the thickened line, any anytime you hear a line that's harmonized and it's from anywhere from seven to, to 13 voices, uh, parts, not necessarily voices, but you have, you, have, uh, you have a line that's thickened and it usually moves in parallel. Now, later on, a big band music thing started moving away from each other and doing more count contrapunctal and more, even more polyphonic uh, stuff with inner unisons and moving notes. And then, then we got into, uh, in the 60s, Thad Jones gave us uh, uh, different kinds of passing chords, different ways to get up and down the riff or the line. <laughs> 